Hello, Fofamid here. And today we're actually going to be looking at a free, oh, voice crack. We're going to look at a free VTubing application. So if any of you have seen VTubers before, you might have heard of the application called Luppet, or uh, some people pronounce it like Loopit, but it's uh, Luppet. And the other free application, this was actually told to me by uh, one of my friends on Discord, and I'll make sure I put their details down below. And this application is called VC Face. Before I tell you which one's which, uh, I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do some quick movements. I'm gonna show some expressions, and uh, that way you can see the side by side comparison. So as you can see, both of them use hand tracking through the leap motion. And I think uh, they both do a pretty good job. Both track your head movements. So right now I'm just kind of moving my head around side to side. They're so using a webcam. And uh, they both also have expressions. So one of these costs $50 to use and the other one is completely free. So I'll we'll just give you a moment. Three, two, one. Da -da okay. So as you can tell, the one that I'm using right now that has been having better head tracking and doesn't have like the weird arm flying off into the distance is Luppet and the Luppet is the, the paid application. Whereas uh, this one over here is VC Face. It's actually a free application. It is a free application that you can find in the link in this video description below. And like I said, uh, my lovely friend uh, has actually took the time to send me a message and tell me a little bit about it. And they've even tested it out on their stream. So what I can say about VC Face from uh, just fiddling around with it for a little bit is that it's actually it's actually pretty good. So if you're looking for a good free alternative to Luppet, I think this is the application for you because it does have the full hand tracking uh, that you can get with the Leap Motion. And I would say uh, in terms of quality for the hand tracking, they're roughly about the same, uh, except for you can see that VC Face it does have a few bugs here and there. In terms of movement, uh, you can see that the, the Luppet is actually a little bit more smooth. So when I move my body around, you can see that it's a lot more um, smooth. It doesn't jitter. It doesn't jerk around too much. And one other issue with the with VC face that you see here. So when I'm moving my head side to side, I'm actually not moving my body. But in um, with VC face, sometimes what happens is when I move my body, with my head, it'll actually start moving my hands in a weird way. Whereas on Luppet, you don't see that really at all. But in terms of like overall features, I, I would say both of them are roughly the same. Now, one key feature that I would say that um, VC Face has that Luppet doesn't have is that uh, Luppet, you can't actually use the program natively as a virtual camera. So what does that mean? So that means when you're in a Skype call and um, you want to use your avatar to do the Skype call, Luppet doesn't allow you to do that, but VC Face actually allows you to do that. You can see that in Luppet, my hair kind of works properly. All the dynamic bones aren't a little bit weird. Whereas for some reason on VC Face, like my bangs uh, have gone into my head and I, I, I'm not exactly sure why. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. It does have the webcam tracking as well, um, even though it's a little bit um, jittery at times. And it also does it also allows for expressions as well. Now, one thing to also keep in mind if you're thinking, oh, oh, well, obviously Luppet is the way better program. I'll just save my money for that. Please remember that VC Face is free. And actually right now, uh, in order to download it, you need to go into the developers. Um, they're, they're in, well, basically in the link below, you'll see that you have to download it from a Discord. And you'll actually see that the developer is actually listening to feedback from the community and has actually been improving it over time. 
So I definitely think that if you're thinking about getting into VTubing or looking for an application that's a good alternative to Luppet, I think this is definitely something to either try out or keep your eye on. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below or visit me on Twitch and I'll see you later. Bye bye.